All right, guys, welcome back to Rod Smoking Stuff. Today we're not smoking anything, though. We're going to make some Chick-fil-A chicken tenders. So I've got about two and a half pounds of uh, chicken tender loins. You don't want the breast, apparently, you use the tender loins. And uh, I'll put this recipe down in the description. But you want to start by brining them. And we're going to put two cups of pickle juice and two cups whole milk in there and that's all there is to the brine then we're going to set these to the side we're going to let it soak in there for 30 20 to 30 minutes then we'll come back and bread these up and fry them all right guys so what i've got here is i have one cup of flour i'm going to add to that um, one cup of plain bread crumbs and then we've got three tablespoons of powdered sugar that kind of makes it a little sweet we've got a tablespoon of garlic powder two tablespoons of salt two teaspoons of paprika and then we've got one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt so we're going to take that and we're just going to mix it all together and then that's going to be our breading for our nuggets so we'll be back with you we got to get the oil heated up and uh, we'll come back and show you how we make some good chick-fil-a chicken nuggets Okay, so we've got our oil in the Dutch oven here. We're going to put our thermometer in here. We want to get this up to uh, 350 degrees is where we want it. So we're just going to slowly heat that up now and then our chicken will be ready to get put in. All right guys, so as you can see here, I've got my chicken. I drained out all the pickle juice and milk mixture, put it in a different bag. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump the breading in this bag and I'm going to mix that up. So. Just like that. Now we'll just shake this up. Like we got them pretty well coated in there so. all right we just got to finish waiting for our oil to heat up we'll be ready to deep fry these things all right guys so our oil's at 350 so we're going to get some of these put in there you don't want to put too many Put them so they're, they don't touch each other really. About three to four minutes. And those will be ready to come out. These are looking pretty good. I'm going to check it and see where it's at. 160, they're done. So we're just going to put them over here on this wire rack. I'm just going to let them cool down. You can cut these into smaller pieces like they do at Chick fil A, but I've tried them both ways and it doesn't make a lot of difference on the finished product. In fact, I think left hole there a little more juicy. Not as much breading, but a little more juicy. So. Anyway, I'm going to get the rest of these cooked up. 
then we're going to come back and uh, we'll test, taste test some. Alright guys, we're going to give these a taste test. Let me show them to you. They're looking good. So I got uh, Tyler here. This is the uh, chicken strip connoisseurs. Every restaurant we eat at eats chicken strips. So I got some barbecue sauce here. Alright. Okay. Alright. if they pass the Tyler test. If they do, you know they're good. Mmm! It's good! Sounds like we passed the Tyler test, so we're good to go. If this kid likes them, they're top-notch <laughs> chicken and tenders. So, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like, and we'll see you on the next one.